Well, apparently it's one of the better flying airplanes. Milton Torres is not the kind of guy to tell a tall tale. 20 years in the Air Force, an engineer with a PhD, a professor. He's all about brass tacks and left brain thinking. So I was all ears when he started talking about his UFO encounter over England in May of 1957. I got scrambled one night and my first orders are, you will be ordered to fire on this mission. In just a few minutes, he was over the North Sea in a fighter like this at 31,000 feet, traveling nearly the speed of sound. In the dark and in the clouds, Milton saw the strongest signal he had ever seen on his radar screen. Bigger than sh the target was there, and the target looked like an aircraft carrier. It was that big in, on the, my screen. He flew toward it to try and shoot it down. And it takes off like you're just standing like still. Like I wasn't even there. Like I wasn't even there. Just gone. Milton has no earthly explanation for what he saw. Could it have been a problem with the radar? Could it have been a weather phenomenon? Could no. it have been a meteor? It, it, Any of those things? It, 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 everything was explained to me already. Yeah? I knew what it was. It was, it was some design of an aircraft by some space alien. Milton Torres says a U.S. intelligence agent ordered him to keep his mouth shut. The odd encounter is one of hundreds of once classified UFO sightings released last month by the British government. It's the sort of disclosure UFO investigators are demanding from the U.S. government. How would people react? Well, it would be kind of good. It's about time. Former astronaut Edgar Mitchell is the sixth man to walk on the moon and a firm believer that aliens have visited our planet repeatedly. So I had to ask, why are they coming in these little glancing visits and, and we, we haven't had a more meaningful dialogue or contact or attempt to communicate with these well, people? Well, I think we have. Really? I don't think, I think we have, but it is not common knowledge. Mitchell told me after he returned from the moon, he was briefed at the Pentagon by a high-ranking officer, whose name he would not reveal, who said the U.S. government does have evidence of alien spacecraft and is keeping it a secret. Well, I think the root of the reason it's still a secret is power and control, controlling whatever technology exists. All of this is fascinating stuff, if it is true. But consider this. There are thousands of sightings of odd, unidentified flying objects reported every year the world over. And yet no one has produced smoking gun proof of any visits from another planet. So isn't it more likely they are some sort of natural phenomenon? Or maybe secret military aircraft? Or just plain old hoaxes? Maybe, but consider this one. March of 1997. A huge V-shaped craft appears to fly over Phoenix. Among the witnesses, then governor and seasoned pilot, Fife Symington. And I suspect that uh, unless uh, uh, the Defense Department proves us otherwise, that it was probably uh, some form of an alien spacecraft. Or consider this one. Before he became president, even Jimmy Carter saw something strange in the sky over Plains, Georgia. I and about 25 others saw something in the air that changed colors and was round and came and left. Carter doubts what he saw was an alien craft. But most Americans need no convincing. Maybe it comes from movies like Close Encounters. Or maybe art is imitating extraterrestrial life. For those who are skeptical of you, what do you say? Are you say, open your mind? Be skeptical. Do be as skeptical as you want, but by all, don't close your mind.